When algae builds up on western Lake Erie, recreational activity is not something that the murky greenish brown water invites. The algal blooms seem to keep people out of out of the lakes for swimming purposes. The algal blooms form as a result of large amount of sediment and nutrients in the water. A never-ending food source. Lots of food creates more and more. The food source is created from runoff on two fronts. Two of the sources of pollution for Lake Erie is the runoff from the farmers and the uh, fertilizers, and the other is uh, sewage coming in from Detroit. Bob Poolhudge remembers swimming in the lake when he was younger. We polluted it in less than 40 years. We should be able to restore it within a reasonable time, I'm sure. And that is what the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative is making happen by stopping the runoff from entering the lake directly. Instead, we filter that water through wetlands. A marsh, which acts as a natural filtration, will be restored on this 2,500-acre parcel of farmland and will essentially starve the algae. Many of the nutrients that would end up in the lake otherwise are filtered out in the wetland. The restoration will also create a perfect rest stop for migrating birds. They're coming up from the south, uh, from South America all the way through. This is a stopover before trying to cross Lake Erie. And will add more opportunity for the community of bird watchers. Good things for wildlife and people. The project broke ground last week and a more swim friendly western Lake Erie maybe in the near future. Chris Camp, WNWO News.